I used to intern in a company who builds robots that follows autonomously. Then can we do it with Timio? This is Mighty Timio. It's an extension of Timio to a Linux-based ROS-compatible platform that provides additional sensing functionalities, increased computing power, networking, and full ROS integration. And I want to introduce our friend today, the camera. Here is a simple test where the Timio is set to stay still and only detect hands. On top, you can see the confidence score of the hand in the bounding box and the offsets of the bounding box from exactly the middle of the image. This can be all done thanks to the SSD single shot multi box detector with the mobile net V1 as the backbone, trained on the Eagle Hands dataset. When the person's hand does not move, ideally, the robot will proceed in a straight line and stop when it's at a certain distance to the hand. The robot can be simply controlled by moving your hand to the direction where you would like it to go. The angular velocity of the Timio depends on the bounding box offset from the midline of the image. It has three possibilities, turn left, turn right, or stay in the middle while it is at the buffer zone. The linear velocity of the Timio is based on the width of the bounding box. It can go forward, backward, or stop. By combining both the offset and the width, we can control the robot to move wherever we want. Detection is never perfect. Occlusions, low illumination, and the need for extensive computational resources are the typical problems in the computer vision system. Our system is designed to detect only one hand. What if there's a second hand? We implemented two optimization tricks to make it better. One is to compute the Euclidean distance between the center of the two bounding boxes, because hands shouldn't go too far in between frames. Also for the same reason, the width of the two boxes shouldn't vary too much. Having enough with camera, do not forget our old friend proximity sensors. Our Timio is also able to stop before reaching an obstacle. Backing up itself, and with the guidance of the hand, it will eventually find its way out. However, as always, there will be delay in transmitting information between laptop and robot. Such as in the basketball case, our robot did not even notice the ball coming from the side. How about fake hand? Surprisingly, our Timio can still be tricked by hand image. Our Timio is curious about the outside world. Let's introduce it to the place we study and live. Here we are, you can see that it's working perfectly. We are done for this small project, but our friends can be improved for better human-robot interaction.